So in this video, we're just gonna look at a couple of things here, just miscellaneous things for firmware 3.0. So first off, just wanna mention audio clips. They have margins. So if we go shift settings to record, and then margins. So if margins are on, there's not gonna be a click when the loop ends. It adds an extra margin so that it doesn't snap or pop. So when it's off, it would be without the feature. If you wanna export stems, you'd want the margins set to be off. You can now delete, let's say we wanna load a song here. Let's say I wanna delete this. So I would hold down shift and press where it says save delete right here. And it says delete. If I wanna to confirm to delete it, I press it again. If I don't want to make a mistake, press back. This also applies to presets. So if I load presets on here by holding down load, pressing synth, for example, I can scroll through these, and if I wanted to erase one, same thing, shift, save, or delete, and it'll ask me, and I'm just canceling out of it. Same with kits, so load kit, same deal. Presets can only have one clip active at a time. So if you wanted to load presets, just like we just did, load synth or load kit, same kind of thing. If you wanna to try to load, let's say, the same preset you were on, it's not gonna work. So if you needed, to, let's just say we just loaded in 10 here. We're gonna make another preset in 10. It won't let me even choose it. So load preset, let's go to 10, load. It says used, so that means we can't reload it in. So if we want a separate instance of it, just hold down load and it'll say clone, press load again. And now we have 10A. You can also now have uh, the USB plug here to be used as a USB host to host USB MIDI devices. If you're using it though, you have to have it plugged in by a power supply. If you do use it and if it blinks hub, H-U-B, or unknown, that would mean it's not a supported device. But there are different gear that have different requirements. 